Actually, uh, the main objective for this league is uh, we will be, I think, uh, we'll be having this Nagaland League. Nagaland League. So, the champion of this Chumukidima League, the team will represent Chumukidima District in the upcoming Nagaland League. Okay, from uh, hereafter, will the players will get another chance, different chance to uh, participate in the... Is there any possibilities of participating in national or anything? Is there any possibilities? So that our players, which will be selected from here, as you say, the team will be selected and they will be playing in another state. So is there any possibilities that the players will be inducted into the national team also? That will depend on, depend on their talent and also the their scouting team there. They might even get scouted and they'll have chances to play for different clubs and national team. National team right now is too early. Yes, right now the football graph level is very low right now. Right now we're just starting it, so it will take time for us. What is the sport that uh, the player will get hereafter? I'm sorry? So what, is, what is the sport that the player will get hereafter? You get your question. You mean the state league? So state league is not confirmed, it will be moved probably next year. So that that's not in our hands, that's on the state association. See, to add to what sir said, uh, in India, I'll speak a little loudly. In India, a budding football player, right, like you said, grassroots, they get maximum 5 to 10 matches a season. Whereas the same kid in Europe or probably in Japan also, 40 to 50 matches on an average in a season. So the main goal is to give as much competition experience, as much match experience to the players. It's like you are just studying and there are no exams. Similarly, in football, you are training a lot. But there should be competitive, you know, analysis when you're playing with other people. So you get to know. And this level tournament in which they get to play, even in Northeast Pride Cup as well as the uh, the league here. Yeah, so CD league here. So they'll get more experience and they'll get to know about themselves better. Plus there is a sense of camaraderie that comes with playing matches. So that's a, some of the benefits of, you know, as you ask the objective of the league. So that's one of the main objectives of the league. To provide as much match opportunities. Going to national level, there are of course district tournaments, state tournaments, national tournaments, but you have to keep playing somewhere. That's where the scouts find you. No, anyone can anyone can register. So any school, academy, even an individual player can register. They can register via www.northeastpridecup.com. It's a five-a-side tournament, five plus three substitutes. So even if you have five friends, we are promoting, uh, you know, playing more matches. So as much participation is there, it's better. If you have a good team, like uh, if there is a team, for example, academy or school nearby, so they can also participate in multiple teams. So that's also there. Uh, it will depend. We are targeting just max to max 50 teams per category. Because there are only so many matches we can hold in a day. Right, so it will be a two-day tournament here in, uh, in Chumukadima. So as soon as we hit 50, we'll stop the registrations. Because there's a lot in goes in a country <coughs> matches, referees, volunteers, ball boys, availability of the pitches, and of course, I um, mean sunlight as well. 50 per category. So 150 teams in Chumukadima can participate. In association with Assam Don Bosco University. Okay, so, uh, since Chumu are playing here in Chumu, right. the team is here, you know, uh, the state in the United Right. So, uh, in other Lotus uh, states, what are the chances? They are also playing in the state, and in the state, which is uh, one day in the United This is exactly the day we are in Lotus. Right. So in the Northeast Pride Cup, like how we are conducting tournaments in different districts in Nagaland, we are conducting tournaments in different districts in other states as well. So, I mean in Assam we have 7 districts because Assam is competing a little bigger. Itanagar we have 3, Mizoram we have 1, Manipur we have 2. Simultaneously, we have, we have figured out 22 football hub zones 
right? We tried our best. Of course, we can't be like hundred percent true. So we tried our best. All the winners, like I said earlier, all the winners from all these different states, right? All the districts in different states will get a chance to come to Assam Dongbo State University and play league matches. Sorry. No, like I mentioned, in Nagaland, we have one tournament will be in Kohima, one in Chunukadima, one in Dimapur. We are trying to cover as much distance as possible for the players to come. Uh, they can, but the winning teams who are in quarterfinals, they cannot because that's not fair for the teams here. So they can participate in multiple tournaments, but one player can participate in only one tournament. So that I mean, the same team can go to then Shillong also and win Guwahati also win. So one team, whichever district they belong to, will participate from that. So um, there are districts also. So why are there districts? See, there's a first edition, right? If we would have wished, we would have gone everywhere, right? But the plan for the next season, when we come again uh, next year, is to cover both districts. And soon we we plan to cover as many districts as possible because there's a lot of the, like I said earlier, it's a lot that goes into conducting a tournament. Similarly, we cannot conduct a tournament in every district in Northeast India. We're not just just looking at Nagaland, but Northeast India in general. So that's why we have chosen the best football hubs, and we have tried to divide the uh, state into also in some parts that kids can even travel since it's a two-day tournament. So at least they can travel on a weekend or something. It's an open tournament. Everyone can come and play. If you're under 14, 16, 19, like even uh, far from uh, even the Yeah, they can come and play here. They can register, and registration is via online. So online, you can check about the tournament, which zone you want to register. And even if, let's say, I am a player in in uh, Chumukidima, and I don't have a team, I can register individually as well. We on the back end, we'll find people who have uh, registered individually and make a team for them. So, like I said earlier, our main focus is on participation and giving as as much match experience to the players as possible. The same as with this uh, CDA league is there. The district football association. It's only two hundred rupees per player. Per player. Do you see uh, no change in the players? Why the organization has chose this Nagaland state? Nagaland state. Can you speak real loudly? I couldn't hear you. Sir. I'm not seeing why the organization is looking here in Nagaland. What do you see among the players from the players here? See, not only Nagaland. I think uh, Northeast India in general is a footballing hub, right? They have produced so many good players. Even right now, most of the ISL, I, I League teams, they have so many players from even normal academies. They are not in I, ISL or I League. They are uh, the most of the players are from Northeast India. So that's why our focus is towards Northeast India to start with to develop the whole ecosystem. And Nagaland, we have so many players who have come from Nagaland, right? So, like I said, not in Nagaland, Northeast in general, we are trying to promote the sports ecosystem, not football, but all other sports. Chumukudima being one of the main football hubs where the love is football for more, right? If you take a general census out of the entire Nagaland state, so that's why we have chosen this district. Now, this story is there any plan that your organization is uh, to implement here, like in building in club or something? Yes, yes, there is a lot of uh, into work. Like I said earlier, we want to start small. There is a lot in work which you want to do, right? Uh, we are talking like how we are talking to. the sir in district association we are planning camps we will be planning more tournaments we will be planning leagues we will be planning academies but in time to come so that will be a surprise for everyone now okay uh i will say some more update on the uh, chumukdima league the eight teams that are participating in this uh, first edition of the chumukdima district football league are chumukdima fc sovima fc Mizoram United, Naga United FC, United Amy Brothers, Mizoram Youth Organisation, and Falcon United Mizoram. Okay. Uh, Gurka United FC. Yeah. The uh, the chief guest for the opening ceremony is uh, Honourable Minister Jacob Jimomi, and. Uh, uh chief guest for the closing ceremony will be uh nibu sokese the president of nagaland football association and also the executive member of all india football federation
Yeah, I hope if there's no question, then that's we can go ahead. No um, yeah, so coming back to the end, I have to say thanks to all of you once again. Thank you so much for sparing your time and uh, coming to the uh, the first press conference of the Jumigdima uh, District Football League. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter. And Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.